quick video on how to remove the Tesla Model Y side markers. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Tesla Model S and the Model X and the Model 3, where there's a clip here, a clip here, a clip here, and then two tabs up top. So uh, what I've already done is remove the side um, molding, which you'll see in another video. Uh, all you're going to need is a little plastic eye tool just to kind of get an edge on the uh, the, the plastic liner. You're going to pull it down, you're going to stick a hand in there, and then you're going to press on that tab, then that tab. And if you can reach the back one, you could do that too. But once you've got that bottom um, released, you just have to kind of hold it. You'll take your plastic pry tool with your other hand. Uh, I taped it off. I like to double tape just, just in case. And then all you have to do is press down right there to release that tab, and then press down there to release that tab, and then it'll, it'll pop right off. Uh, the Model Y's liner is a little harder than the Model 3's, so it, you might cut up the hand just a little bit. The um, reason we're popping this off is because we're going to PPF the entire front end, and that's also why we popped this off so that we could tuck every edge, and then we could also tuck the side marker for a seamless install. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, let me know in the comments below, and if there's any other types of videos that you might like to see, uh, let me know. Second one, and then now I just have to press the top taps. So right there, and one right there, and then it pops right off. So, like I said, you might cut your arm a little bit, or give it a little kind of wrinkle. The, the, the quicker you can do this, the less painful it is. And then once that's out, there's just two connectors. Pop that out. That out, and the reason why we tape it is so that when we press it down, we're pressing tape and we're not pressing the, the paint, so you don't harm the paint. And like you can see already, there's a sanding mark right there. There's pigtails right here, and so this allows us to get a much thorough, much more thorough polish as well. And so we'll take this off. I usually just reuse this tape to kind of cover the top, so that when we're PPFing, uh, gives it just a little bit extra protection from, from water. And then we'll just tuck this inside until we're done. And then we'll just pull it back, restick it, pop it back in, and uh, that's done. Get the soaps. And this is Johnny with Detailer Chef in Dublin, California. Here's after polishing. Sanding mark's gone. Pigtail is gone. I think there's another sanding mark around here somewhere. Wherever it was. 